There was a time in this fair land when the railroad did not run. In the wild majestic mountains stood alone against the sun. Long before the white man and long before the wheel. When the green dark forest was too silent to be real. Hey, it's a great day. And I really do mean I really do mean that. Uh, it is day 39 on the Pacific Crest Trail. Uh, last time we spoke, I was day 35. I was at uh, Vermilion Valley Resort, or VVR. Um, uh, while I was going into VVR, a little bit before that, um, I started to suffer from uh, an issue. I'm not going to uh, get into details about that. But uh, when I was at VVR, I was debating on whether to stay there for two or three days. Um, I decided against that. I pushed on. And, uh, and then the following day, um, day 37, uh, I was into Red's Meadow. And, and I actually spent the night at Red's Meadow uh, at the campground there. But I enjoyed the hospitality of their, their little restaurant there for dinner and a breakfast. Uh, and even then I debated, hey, should I just stay here for a couple days? Um, and uh, I decided against that. Um, I figured some mileage is better than no mileage. I knew I could walk. I just would be slower. So for the last three days coming out of EBR uh, till today, I, was, I only averaged 17 uh, miles per day. So pretty low um, uh, day mileage for me. I knew I could walk and so I wasn't, I wasn't worried about that. Um, but uh, so what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to break here. I'm going to show you the video I took uh, during that time. To be honest, I didn't take very much because I wasn't feeling very good. And then I'm going to come back and talk about why day 39 is so special on the PCT. So this is Silver Pass looking south um, coming out of EVR is the first place first pass and um, besides the 3,000 foot ascent from 8,000 feet to almost 11,000 feet uh, it was pretty straightforward to be honest with you that's the southern side and um, and then this is looking north here real pretty a little bit of snow below me but I mean nothing nothing to write home about and um, yeah too easy So hey, we're back, uh, day 39. Why day 39 is so special is today we go into Yosemite National Park, one of my favorite parks. Uh, we'll be going over Island Pass, not really uh, much of a pass, but we'll be going over Island Pass, and that'll lead on to Donahue Pass, and right at the top of Donahue Pass is the southern border of Yosemite National Park. Um, the Pacific Crest Trail, does not go through the valley. Most people think of the valley when they think of Yosemite National Park. It stays in the back country and goes through Tuolumne Meadows and then up and through. And I will not be going down in the valley. If, if a person on the PCT wants to take side trips, they have to get special permits uh, to do that. And, and they're available. Uh, Yosemite National Park is open to the public right now. Uh, and so no worries there, but it is on limited facilities. Tuolumne Meadows, typically they have a post office there where people send resupply packages and they have a little store there where you can um, buy some goodies, resupply a little bit. 
uh, and pick up a meal. Now, both of those facilities are closed this year, um, but we are in Yosemite National Park, and I think that's um, that's pretty special. So that's how day 39 is going to be uh, turning out today. It should be great. I'm feeling great. Uh, finally, finally, all systems are running good, and um, and I got a good night's sleep last night, which I haven't had in days, and so feeling real good, and it's going to be a great day. This was my area of sleeping last night. Not too bad of you. So this is the top of Island Pass. That's why some of these passes are a little you know, different than others. Um, if I would have been listening to music, I probably would have missed this one. Uh, it's just nothing, just, just a hump on the way to Donahue Pass. This is the uh, snowbank on the north side of Island Pass I just showed you. Now, considering the trail runs completely along one side of it without ever being touched, I think I'll be okay. I think I'll be safe. I'm not going to break out the micro spikes or ice axe. Okay, you can see uh, Donahue Peak right there on the right hand side, and then the notch to the left is where I'm heading. That is Donahue Pass. This is Donahue Pass. This came from the south over here. Going up. Yosemite National Park and I'll be going down somehow through here down into Tuolumne Meadows and I'm heading down to Tuolumne Meadows so I guess I'm going down there Uh, look, I just want to wrap up day 39 on the PCT. Uh, I wound up doing uh, only uh, 19 miles, so another short day. Uh, but this time it was by choice and not a uh, function of the, the body. Uh, Tuolumne Meadows has a large, no-dispersed camping area uh, around it because uh, it's a popular tourist spot uh, for day hikers and they don't want... Um, probably tents in the scenery and that sort of thing. Uh, and they've got a very, really nice established campground uh, right there in Tuolumne Meadows. And uh, they have a backpackers only section. Uh, and that's where I stayed. The campground has got uh, running water and uh, flush toilets. And those are two huge pluses <laughs> when you're walking in the backcountry. And uh, a place to get rid of trash, which uh, I needed uh, to do. Uh, it was only, it only cost $6 or $3 if you have an access pass, which, which I have. So, I mean, really great. Um, and there were quite a bit of, uh, backpackers out there, um, uh, at the, at the, at the campground. Uh, you have to have a backpackers permit, uh, to stay in the backpackers only section. Um, whether it's just, uh, a permit to hike, uh, in the various trails of, uh, Yosemite or the uh, John Muir Trail, JMT. Um, one of the starting points is Tuolumne Meadows. Uh, and so yesterday I was passing a lot of um, uh, JMT hikers heading south. The JMT and the PCT run um, pretty much the same trail um, for a good chunk of it, uh, although the, the, they do separate uh, on occasion. Uh, and, the, and the JMT goes from Tuolumne Meadows down to to Mount Whitney. 
Um, and then if you have a PCT permit, of course, you can stay in the backpackers area. So I chose to stay there. It was quite pleasant. Uh, you know, a lot of people uh, associate, uh, like I was saying earlier, uh, Yosemite Park with the valley. You know, El Capitan, uh, Half Dome, uh, Bridal Veil Falls, that sort of thing. But there's this entire backcountry area to Yosemite National Park that uh, it's just uh, worth exploring if, if you have the opportunity. So today, today is day 40, um, got a good early start, and uh, hopefully today we will be going by Tuolumne Falls and then going over Benson Pass. So, so, it, should be a, so it should be a great day. It's uh, about uh, 4 o'clock in the afternoon. I'm still about 6 miles out from, um, from Benson Pass, but uh, some clouds have formed and uh, I got some thunder going on, that sort of thing. So, and it started to sprinkle uh, and I think it's going to get a little heavier. Uh, I put my rain gear on. I'm going to keep walking and see what happens. Uh, hopefully it blows over before uh, I get too close to the top. Um, uh, if, it, if it sticks around, then I'm going to have to reassess my plans. Um, but I'm hoping that it'll blow over and then I can get over the top and there'll be no issue. It's all good. Uh, you can see the uh, you can see the storm coming in. Rain starting to come down. <laughs> Looks pretty cool. The lightning is increasing. And so is the thunder, and it started to hail. Now, fortunately, the trail goes down about 1,500 feet here uh, before it meanders up the, uh, the valley there by the creek to get over Benson Pass. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get off this high ground I'm on. It Just to wrap up, um, day 40 on the uh, Pacific Crest Trail, started at Tuolumne Meadows, uh, went by Tuolumne Falls, uh, pretty nice even terrain uh, for the morning time, and then throughout the afternoon a series of up and down, you know, gain a thousand or go up a thousand feet and then go back down a thousand feet, go up 1500. So kept doing that, uh, got hit by that afternoon uh, storm. Didn't quite get over uh, Benson Pass. Uh, I'm about a mile from the top, uh, but uh, I just ran out of daylight. It was at the 25 mile mark uh, from where I started this morning, so I knew it would be close to the end of the day uh, anyway. Um, but, uh, but because of the storm and fiddling around with the storm, I uh, just ran out of daylight to be able to go over uh, go over the pass. So I'll hit that uh, tomorrow morning, uh, take care of that, and I think I've got Seve Pass uh, perhaps in the afternoon. Um, but, uh, but right now, sitting, sitting good, 
and um, gonna eat and enjoy some gonna enjoy some food and um, and then go to sleep and start all over tomorrow hope you enjoyed uh, the video and see you next time there was a time